Hi, this is Jane from GamesKeys.net. In this video, I'll guide you through a comprehensive walkthrough of the Somerville game. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe for more. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the action. The game starts from here. Someone is knocking at the door. We first need to head left and see who's outside. Unplug the torch from the charging cable and pick it up. The light drops. Now we need to pull a box and use it to climb into the adjacent room. Pull out the drawer at the bottom. Then pull the next one on the right side to make a little staircase. After that, jump on the first and then the second to reach the shelf. From here, head towards the window and open it. Now you'll be able to control the male character. <laughs> Head towards the gate and open it. Your dog will follow you. You need to bring out the dog tray from the doghouse. Get close to the doghouse and push the lever. The dog will follow you and grab a tray from the doghouse. Once done, we have to move back inside the house. Now, to add the dog food to the tray, head down to the basement. Grab the dog food from the table and go back to the ground floor. The house will start shaking. We have to move outside and check what's the matter. There will be a huge spaceship above your house.
Now head inside and move to the kitchen. Grab the bag and then leave the house. Move toward the garage. But once you get close, the spaceship will destroy your garage. From here, move back toward the house and enter inside. We need to find a place to hide. Descend to the basement and hide yourself in a corner. After that, a person will appear from the roof. You need to touch his hand. Now we need to press the button. We have got some kind of power in our hands. From here, remove the wooden block in front of the torch and touch the torch to utilize the new power. It will clear the path to the stairs. Next, head to the ground floor. We need to use that power again and clear the path on the left side and take the torch while heading outside. Use the light to remove all the red colored blocks. Push the cupboard on the floor and use it to climb outside the house. Now from here, go towards the left side and use the light to clear the path. Head straight and go through the fence door. We have to use the light to remove the blocks and then use our power to light up our path. Mm -hmm. 
After that, clear the path on the right side using the light. Remember that these lights won't last forever. Move forward while avoiding the purple light on the right side. Whenever we come in contact with it, we must hide ourselves. If the light starts following us, then we have to run faster, otherwise it will grab us. We can head inside a nearby area and let the light pass by. Once the light is passed, move outside and continue your journey. After that, use the light to remove the blocks and clear the path. Now we need to follow the newly opened path between these blocks.
move up on the little dock and pull the boat rope to avoid the purple light. Drag the boat forward while remaining on the backside to avoid the light. The light doesn't detect any moving objects. Now from here, we have to cross the water stream without getting caught. Once we reach the end, we will find the path is blocked, and we don't have any external light. We need to bring a bucket out of the well and take that bucket toward the water stream. Throw the bucket inside and then move back to the well. After that, pull the bucket rope to get the attention of the lights and they will eventually reach you. If we fail here, we have to try again. Once successful, use the light to clear the path. Go through the fence door to reach the next area.
Now we will find cars all around, blocking the path. We need to pull the car and then jump on it to reach the opposite side. Go through the open gate of the car on the right side. After that, follow the path on the left side and then jump down. purple light will appear again there, which we have to avoid. Use the light to clear the path and head inside a hideout to avoid the purple light. Once the light is passed, move outside and continue your journey. Now here, we have to use the light to remove the blocks all around. the light falls short, we can use another one up there to clear the path. After that, get to the other side and pull the lever to open a small bridge. Go back using that bridge and pick up the light. Cross the bridge again and pull the rope of the light. Now from here, use that light to clear the path. Climb the ladder on the car and get to the other side. Turn on the generator, detach the cable from the amplifier, and plug it into your car. The car lights will turn on. Power up the generator, and then the car lights will clear your path. Head forward while avoiding the purple light.
We can follow the path through water as it will give us some shadow. Move inside a small toilet to avoid the purple light and wait for it to disappear. Once the light is passed, move outside and continue your journey. Once here, we need to drag the basket to clear the path. Move forward while avoiding the dogs and keep following the shadows. Once the light moves in another direction, we can sneak away silently. Now from here, we have to use two umbrellas to hide ourselves and wait for the purple light to go away. Head towards the generator on the left side and turn it on. It will give us a shadow that we can use to move forward. Now move out through the opening on the left side and wait for the purple light to disappear. After that, move forward and drag the dustbin to clear the path. Use the light to clear the path to the ladder. Next, we need to climb up the ladder and cross the small bridge on the backside. Now here, climb up the ladder to get to the roof. Once there, turn on the lights using the switch. You can use your power to clear up the path if needed. Head down and follow the path on the left.
We have to jump down from here and bring out the light from the small toilet. Now our path will be blocked again. Head towards the switch on the left and turn it on. After that, pull the cable down to use it on the projector. Now from here, drag the projector in front of the big light at the top. We have to plug the cable into the projector and then use your power on it to clear the path ahead. Once cleared, cross the small bridge and head right. Rotate the wheel to open the gate, then grab the power cable and move outside. We have to plug the power cable into the lift. Now use the lift to go up. After that, jump on the big light and open all its sides to drop it down. We need to unplug the wire from the left and plug it into the light. The lights will turn on. Next, push the light inside. Use your power on the light to remove the blocks. We also need to protect ourselves from the dog. Once you reach the end, start running and avoid the attacks of the dog. character will appear and he will take the dog down. Just keep running and you will eventually reach a gate, but you can't open it. Now that character will come again and open the gate for you.
The bridge will break down and we will drop down, but that strange character will take all the damage on him. Now from here, we need to move down by jumping on the rocks. Remove the big rock from its top and grab its hand to get the red power. From here, we have to follow the path on the back side. Now remove some wooden blocks to get a torch. We have to use the red power and torch to solidify the surface and head back. Use the red power to climb up the stairs. Now use the red power again to solidify the path and move forward. Once we reach the ledge, we need to jump down. Use the blue power to clear your path underwater. <laughs> Take a little breath and then move down into the water again. 
After that, clear the path using the blue power. We need to remove all the blocks and make sure they melt down into the water. Now move upwards while you keep removing the blocks. After that, jump down and use the red power to solidify the liquid. Now we can walk on that and move forward. Climb up the ladder and follow the path on the left. Remove the wooden blocks to open a new path and move inside. Now we have to climb the ladder. Remove the wooden blocks and drag a trolley outside. Push the trolley up to the end and drop it down to clear the path. After that, jump down following that trolley.
Next, rotate the wheel to bring the elevator down and use blue power to turn it into a liquid. After that, solidify it using the red power. Now jump on that to move forward. Pull the mining trolley backward to clear the path and head inside the tunnel. Open the box to obtain a torch and use the blue power to melt the blocks. The liquid will push you upwards. Now jump on the rock above and use the same tactic again to move upwards. We must avoid the rocks on the way. Move outside of the liquid and use the red power to make stairs. Now we have reached another puzzle area. We need to turn on the lights. After that, go through the water and climb up the ladder. Once you get up, turn on the generator.
Now from here, remove the wooden blocks and then use the blue power on the light. It will melt the blocks and raise the level of water. We have to go back and we will find the trolley on the way. Push the trolley forward and then fill it with the purple liquid. Once it fills up, push the trolley backward. Stop under the hanging string and then rotate the lever to drop it inside the trolley. Now we need to use the light to solidify it. After that, push the trolley downwards to clear your path. Use the switch to turn on the lights and then remove the blocks using the blue power. Pull the lever to straighten up the rail and then press the button to open the shutter. Drag the trolley outside. We have to pull the lever again to change the direction of the rail. Now push the trolley forward. Jump on the trolley and head outside through a small opening. Open the shutter using the switch and pull the trolley forward. After that, pull the lever to straighten the trolley rail. Now push the trolley and it will break the door ahead. Next, we need to pull the lever to change the rail direction. After that, push the trolley again. There will be some dogs, so we need to get on the opposite side of the trolley to avoid them and keep pushing it. Mm -hmm. 
Now head down and pull the lever on the other side to change the rail direction. After that, go back and push the trolley again. Next, we need to push the trolley to break down the door. The dog will follow the trolley. We have to go there while avoiding the red light. Now from here, use the switch to turn on that light. After that, use the red power on it to solidify the dog and then move forward. Turn on the switch and wait for the lift. Now get inside the lift and move up. Once we move out of the lift, a dog will start following us. Move forward while avoiding the dog and open the car door to get to the other side. Keep running fast and jump down into the waterfall. Oh, 
Now we have to look for our family. Once we find them, we then need to continue our journey.
Now our path will be blocked. Look for a torch on the left side and then use it with the blue power to clear the path. Now we will reach another puzzle area. We need to remove the blocks all around using the blue power. After that, pull the lever three to four times to lift the bus a bit and then move under the bus to get to the other area. Head inside the bus and open the back door to let your family pass through it.
Next, we have to clear the path and melt the blocks using the blue power. After that, solidify the liquid using your red power and walk through it. Now wait for the red light to pass and then head forward. Open the gate and the dogs will start following you. We need to keep running to avoid them. Now from here, pull the trolley back and then push it forward to break the glass. Pass through that glass and keep running fast. A strange soldier will appear and open the locked gate for you. Go through that gate and head inside the building. Follow the path to get to the roof.
spaceship will come and you have to jump inside it. Next, we have to pass through all the red lights. They will turn green as a result. After that, it will ask us how to use your powers. A wall will appear in the center. We need to use the blue power to melt it and then head to the other side. Now another checkpoint will appear. We need to use the blue power and then the red power to solidify it. After that, grab the checkpoint. Now when the left button starts glowing, use the blue power on it.
After that, use the red power on the right side button. Finally, use both powers on the middle one. It will give you a purple power. We have to repeat this process until the buttons keep glowing.
Now remove the wooden block from the light and use the blue power on it to clear the path. Keep walking through the blue liquid. Then a purple light will appear, which will push you down in the water. Once deep inside the water, follow the path to the right. We will reach the spot where we received red power from the strange character. We need to get this power again. After that, follow the path on the right side. Now from here, remove the wood and obtain a torch from the box and use it to clear the path. We have to use the red power to solidify the liquid and walk up to it. After that, use the blue light and keep following the path.
Now push the light outside to open the gate and then use the blue power. Use the blue power to clear the path. Now when a car gets close to you, you have to use the red power instantly to stop the car and then you can get to the other side. After that, use the blue power to clear the path. Use the red power again to stop the car and use the blue power to clear the path. From here, use the red power to stop the truck and then pass through it using the blue power. We need to use the red power to solidify and head forward. Push the light to open the gate and then use the blue power when the light appears. Then move to the other side and wait for the light to turn on. After that, use the blue power on it.
Now from here, follow the strange character and he will give you purple power. You have to touch his hand and use the red and blue power. Get close to the light and use the blue power. After that, use the purple power. It will destroy the box. Now you need to do the same thing to all of them.
We have almost reached the end. We need to keep using the purple power here until it's destroyed. This is the end of the Somerville game.